Hello. In this video, I am going to talk about an effective exercise for language maintenance. People often start a conversation with me on this topic by saying something like, you've studied so many languages, how do you remember them all? Don't you have a problem forgetting the ones that you learned a long time ago and that you don't have active exposure to? And my answer to that is, no, not necessarily, not, not really, I don't have that problem. And they've started the conversation usually in the context of the fact that they are forgetting a language that they once knew and this frustrates them and they'd like to stop that process and be able to um, not forget it. And the reason they have for forgetting it is usually they said they don't have anybody to talk to. They don't have a conversation partner. Now certainly being immersed in a language and having people to talk with is, is, is the primary way to keep a language alive, but I think that reading is just as effective. So that's what I would suggest at that point. And sometimes people go with that, but more often they'll say, I, I don't have access to materials to read, and I don't have time to do a lot of reading, and frankly speaking, I'm, I'm not much of a reader. Uh, so I might suggest uh, other forms of media, but they usually have the same basic problems of lack of access to the media and lack of time to do it and they want to know is, isn't there something that is is readily available and that might not demand uh, so much time so i say yes there is it's 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 simple it's it's thinking just consciously shift your mind to the language consciously and deliberately put your mind in your foreign language and think in it for just a brief period of time each and every single day each and every single day uh, just as you can learn a language by spending only 15 minutes on it each and every single day certainly if you spend the more time you spend thinking in it the better but if you spend that much or less even 10 minutes five minutes if you do it every single day it's enough for life support it is vastly inferior to um, reading or speaking conversing with other people but it's vastly superior to doing nothing it will make all the difference between just having your language get a little bit rusty and having it uh, disappear and go away uh, it's something that you always have at your disposal okay it's something you always have under your own control and it's something it's just a question of getting into the habit of doing it you can do it in a number of different ways. You can do it um, situationally to get into the habit of it. Uh, for example, when you're getting ready in the morning, you can shave in Spanish and, and take a shower in, in German. Um, if you're a polyglot, you can make a list of your languages and just make sure that you make it into a game of, of tag teaming off of each other uh, and and you can uh, schedule it into your day and just make a point of getting it done every single day. Um, so this is an effective technique for keeping languages alive. It works very, very well. Um, and when I've explained this to people in the past, by this point, usually a light would go on in their eyes and they would say, ah, oh, that, that's interesting. That's a good idea. I, I never thought of that. I'm going to give it a try. Whereas these days, when I explain that to people, very often they still look kind of perplexed. They don't get it. They don't really understand what I'm talking about because they don't really know what thinking is because they've fallen out of the habit of thinking. Now, what do I mean by thinking? Thinking, obviously, if you are alive, your brain is always functioning. Cerebration is always going on. There's brain activity. There are thoughts and ideas bouncing around in there. Uh, that's not what I mean. By thinking, I mean when you are not reacting to to stimulation. You're not reacting to input. You are alone with yourself inside your head, cogitating and contemplating the ideas you already have there. You are spending time reflecting and, and ruminating on the observations that you've made about the world and your life around you. You are spending time pondering problems and mulling and musing over things and, and trying to make sense of, of of life, of the world. Um, you need to be able to do this in your own language before you can do it in a foreign language to get this technique going. And uh, I'm afraid that this ability is being sapped from us in, in modern times uh, by modern society by, by many, many factors, but certainly the main 
public enemy number one in this regard has got to be the smartphone that so many people seem to have in their hands at all times. It seems like 90, 95% of the people that I see when I leave my building in the morning, I get in the elevator, they're, they're glued to it. They get on, I get on the bus, they're glued to it. In my class, my students, they can't pay attention to the, the lecture. I have to tell them to put their phones away. And the second class is over, they pull them out and they walk to the next class looking at them. Um, so they're constantly getting input. They're constantly getting stimulation. They're never giving their brains time to, 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 to ruminate over what is already inside their heads. Uh, I think this is a dangerous development. I think that this is uh, certainly going to make you, make you unable to use this technique for, uh, this, for language maintenance, but what is it doing further and deeper to uh, your brains if you allow yourself to become this way? Don't worry, I'm not going to go into uh, much more detail about my survey, but I have some data for there that I have to from there that I have to share here in this regard, and that is even in this community, people who are watching this who answered this survey, um, there was a question you might remember about uh, do you spend time each day thinking? And 60% of you said no, I, I don't think at all, or only very rarely on occasion, or uh, I, uh, I I spend time only. Um, you know, a couple of days a week, but not every day, only 40% of you said, yes, I spend time uh, doing it every single day. Um, so you need to do that if you want to use this exercise, this technique. So that's my message. Don't forget to think. Thank you, and uh, I will see you next week.